Welcome, and one of them is a Xiaomi Mi Max 3, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So jumping on, as you can see, this device is locked, and uh, I'm just gonna get to the screen. Actually, let's actually connect to a network so it doesn't goof out. And as you can see, it requires verification. So, if you're on this page, um, you should be connected to the internet and uh, Gonna go back to the first page where we're gonna change the language. So from here, choose your language, go all the way down and choose this one right here that it's selected. So once you have selected it, you can proceed on. Now, assuming that you already are connected to the internet, you can just start skipping through everything till you get to the verification. So now tap on the field like you are trying to write something and then you have this little globe icon right here so just start holding it and then select this writing right here below the language select you get to the settings then tap on the pencil actually you can just rearrange it then this one uh, English will be first so you don't have to change it later on um, then tap on the query uh, Select the three little dots right here and choose the second option. Okay. And then once more, tap on the first one. You should have a little video right here. <clears throat> so just tap on it. And once you tap, you will have this clock right here. So tap on the clock. Uh, okay. And choose the browser. I agree. And from the browser, we're going to select or search for hard reset website. So hard reset that info. Mm. Okay. So once you're here, you can tap on this little bar here to get to the menu and tap on download. And the download field, we're gonna search for Android 8. Like so. And then tap on search. As you can see, you have FRP bypass. Just tap on download. And once more, scroll down and tap again on download. Then choose the right option right here, which is the allow and download. I'll start downloading it. And again, choose the right option. Now we basically need to grant access so Chrome can download and install this. So flip this on, go one field back. And now again, the right option will be install. So click on it. Okay. And once you have this, again, click on the right option, which will be open. Now that it's open, go here to Google Access Management APK install and select for version 6.0. And once more, we need to grant access. so. Tap on the right option, flip this, and go one field back. And once again, tap on install, which is the right option. Okay, so now that it's installed, you will only have the option to click on done. So here, and from here, we're gonna select bypass FRP second one and choose browser sign in okay and now select here on the three little dots and tap on this it's more confirm it on the right 
option and write the email you choose to use. I'm going to put in mine. Then tap on next. We can also tap on the green arrow to go further. And I'm going to put in the password for, the, for my email. And then once more, I tapped on next and basically logs in and automatically goes back to this application. So from here, we can just hold the power key and reboot the device. So tap on this one, the little circular arrow or arrow that is in the circle. Let the device reboot and once it's back on, we can go through the setup process basically without any Google verification. It will consider the account that we have just a moment ago put in to be the to be the one that is needed to be verified. And it will already be basically used. Can I go back to the first screen so I can change the language? Now you don't need to worry about like setting it up at the moment. We're gonna do that once more after. All right, now we're just trying to skip through this as quick as possible. And once we're on the home screen, we're gonna do a hard reset once more. And uh, once that is actually finished, then we can set up the device with all the information and other stuff. And as you can see, now we're finished. So what we want to do now is go into settings like I just did, so setting icon and go all the way down. Let's see where it's gonna be. System app settings. Nope. I'm just gonna search for reset. Okay, so right here, back up and reset. And uh, on the bottom, you can also do the same. Just search in there for reset and choose the, the one that I did. And you will see erase all data, factory reset. So choose that. And uh, then you will see this little button on the bottom, reset phone, so just tap on it. You need to wait a uh, about 10 seconds for the message. It warns you that it will remove all personal data that doesn't exist on this phone at the moment. And you can tap on next and once more, 10 more seconds of uh, needless waiting. Okay. And now the device will begin removing supposedly personal data. So give it a moment. This will take probably a couple minutes and uh, I'll be back actually once that is finished. And as you can see now the reset is finished and we can set up the device fully this time. So choose your region. Does it really matter? Whatever. Uh, you can choose whatever you like there.
So we can actually log in now with whatever email you like. Let me put in the password. And once more, I agree to the terms of service of Google. Here you can choose if you want to have Google or localization and Google backup enabled and a couple of other things. You can read through it to know what it exactly does. And once you have it set up, you can just proceed on. Continue. Voice assistance, matter of preference, no thanks. Uh, card, if you like to use Google Pay, you can scan your card. And then you can add other things over there. Okay, me cloud, you can disable or enable that one, the previous one. Um, sign into my account, which if you have one, you can sign in. I actually don't, so I will just skip it. Actually tap on skip. And from here, you can add a, basically a way to protect your device. So fingerprint, for instance, and another way of unlocking the device. So I'm just gonna choose pattern. You can choose whatever else you like, pin or password is also a viable option. Stop on got it and then drop pattern and tap or redraw it again and confirm it. And now I get to scan the fingerprint on the back. Okay, so that is done, then I can proceed on. Choose a theme, doesn't really matter much. So let's go and set up complete. And as you can see, now the setup has been complete and you can use your device freely and basically the previous account that was blocking you before is completely gone and the device is fully unlocked. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.